Всем привет! I'm glad to see you today on my channel, and we are on a beautiful winery in beautiful <laughs> Kahiti region in Georgia. And uh, we came here for two days. It was like a surprise uh, present trip from my husband. I didn't know that he booked this place. It's a winery owned by one family. They do everything together here, like parents and children. And they host people here, like a little hotel. And they do excursions on the winery. They take care of the wine, they cook food. So yeah, we came here yesterday in the evening and we had a dinner with them. I didn't film it because it was like, you know, an interesting experience just with them. I didn't want to distract on filming, but it was really nice. And today we have the whole day here and I want to film this place and share it with you. I want to film how everything looks around and the excursion and all the food. But I think food I'll share in a separate video because they cook everything themselves, but they cook like traditional Georgian food and it's like homemade traditional Georgian food. It's so good. I think it will be in a separate video, but all the other day and experience I'm going to film here for this video. So let me show you our room because the room itself deserves like <laughs> my my whole love <laughs> my whole heart <laughs> i really like it a lot so let me show it to you i just think this room is so beautiful and so authentic and interesting looking and cozy <laughs> and minimalist looking at the same time um, i love the rocks and just everything but the most important part of this room and the the most important part why Tola loved it and rented it and why we came here was because of the balcony with the view, like the huge terrace here. So let me show it to you because it's just gorgeous. <laughs> And we also will have our breakfast here. Very, very beautiful. Just so nice here. Agatha was mostly eating bread and butter, but we also had scrambled eggs with tomatoes, sausages, simple tomatoes and cucumber salad, lobio made of beans and nuts. It's a traditional Georgian meal some bread and cheese and water and tea. So yeah, we are enjoying breakfast and I think we'll have an interesting day. We'll walk around the winery, explore places around. So yeah, and I think this day will be pretty interesting. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Stairs are quite intense there, I should say. But the second floor also has a cute balcony. And also there is a kitchen on the second floor where they cook everything. It's very cozy and has a lot of authentic details. <laughs> But we usually didn't spend much time there because there were the owners cooking most of the time. This first floor is also pretty interesting. We've had a dinner yesterday here and it's also a beautiful place to eat. Agatha's favorite part here is hanging out with animals. So they have pigs here and dogs and cats and a cow and a horse and Agatha is just so excited about all of them. <laughs> Here 
here's the pink house. Hi guys. These pigs like to chat <laughs> too much probably. <laughs> They're so funny. And all of these things are grapes and the winery from the side looks like that we are living on the third floor with the terrace we have like the best <laughs> room here <laughs> the territory around the winery is also pretty cool there is a village not far from here looks like there was a river or something like that there's a little horse walking around Интересно. That beautiful and peaceful moment when children play by themselves. <laughs> Мы ищем теперь коров. А, коров. Как корова говорит, Агат? Мы не нашли коров, но мы нашли растения. Я думаю, это растения. I have picked some um, cherries for Agatha. She loves them a lot. We usually pick them together, but she's sleeping now. So we are waiting for the excursion around the winery to start. And I hope I will not eat them all before she wakes up, but it's it might happen. <laughs> The excursion was mostly in one giant room that they call Marani. They make all the wine there and they have all the equipment there. And they are slowly preparing this place for the new wine season that will start at the end of summer. At the moment all the quevri are empty and quevri is a local name for giant ceramic amphoras or jars that are installed underground. And by giant I mean giant, totally fully fit in one of them which you'll see later. They are used for an old school traditional way of making wine that has been used for 8,000 years in that region. The owner also told us a bit about Marani itself. He said that it was built in a traditional way with very small windows and thick walls because in the past people in this Kaheti region in Kardenahi village used to always build them like that and also they've been building their homes very close to each other and had community gardens and vineyards further from homes because they are located very close to mountains on the other side of which different Caucasus nations live, like Dagestanis for example, and they were attacking these wine regions quite often. He told us about the process of making wine also. It's quite different from the European techniques and because of that the original Kaheti wine also tastes very differently. They green grapes, put all the juice and as I got it a little bit of pulp too in this kvevri in the ground and leave them for half 
half of the year approximately. They stir them from time to time, but they don't add anything else inside, just use natural chemicals and yeast that grapes have themselves. And they also don't control the temperature as it's common in European wineries, so it gets pretty hot inside the Quevery, more than 40 degrees Celsius. And they make red Sapiravi wine and also one that is made in this region only in Ferdinahi village, an orange wine called Tsarapi. Technically it isn't orange, it's a white wine, but because of the old traditional way of making it in Quevery, it turns out with slightly orange color. They have about 7-8 acres or 3 hectares of land around their house with vine yard and the garden and also about 10 acres or 4 hectares of just wine yards on the communal territory in the nearest fields. They also have several cutest bird nests with baby birds inside the Marani because the room is so big and they have all the equipment for crushing grapes by legs. They sometimes use it for tourists and also the modern electric grape crusher that they used for actually making the wine. And as I said, Tolle decided to check out the Quevery from the inside and it was quite successful. The excursion is finished and we are going to go and cook a um, traditional meal called Ajit Sandali with them. That's like a masterclass too to cook. So I think I'll keep it for the second video about the traditional food. But yeah, I hope we'll enjoy our masterclass. Agatha is still sleeping, so. I decided to still film some moments from this experience and show it in this video for you to see how it was going. Tola had to catch some vegetables that we forgot in the house. And there was a little baby cow drinking nearby most of the time. It was so cute. We were trying to help and do everything together, but I would tell you that cleaning an eggplant was not a very pleasant experience. But after that, we had a very nice setup and we ate all together our lunch and dinner with a gypsum dalia. So we had our lunch dinner with a gypsum dalia and we are very full <laughs> now. And we decided to go to the further part of the winery. They have a lot of grapes on their territory, but they also have several acres of grapes far <laughs> from here. So we are going there to just have a walk after a meal, <laughs> just to see the beauty around. <laughs> These grapes are growing differently. You can see there is a huge uh, space, a lot of space between them. I don't know to whom they belong to. There are a lot of small parts of the land that belong to random people. And there are also some parts of the land that belong to other wineries. 
We didn't have any specific purpose of our walk, we just wanted to spend some nice time together in the evening, to walk, to talk, to see the grapes growing, to show them to Agatha, to enjoy the view around because fields were very beautiful and vineyards were very nice and beautiful too. The weather was wonderful and the fresh air was so nice. We played a little bit with dogs, spent the rest of our energy before going to sleep and in general had a very nice time all together. Together. Agatha was playing with the dirt a lot, <laughs> with the ground and with some bugs and nails that she was finding on her way, so it was a very nice time. I really like how peaceful it is here and the view. It started raining, the rain is not too strong, not too bad, but it started raining a little bit and we, we are going back home and we are thinking about finding a local grocery shop to get a little chocolate for the evening tea and maybe we will take some photos on our balcony, we'll see, because it's it's quite late already, I think it's 7 p.m. So, yeah, the view is just so beautiful. The evening ended up with quite an unexpected cake and the tea and with a good company of people. There were other tourists that were staying in the winery and also the owners of the winery, their family. So we had a very pleasant meal and a good time there.